It took until more than halfway through the season, but the Yankees have finally captivated their fans, and obviously, they have entertained them too. The team that had a 500 record after 82 games, and the team whose general manager, Brian Cashman, said they had been stinking up the joint, has been one of the best teams in the major leagues across the last six weeks. This isn't just a, maybe I will watch it kind of show. This is a must-see show. By transforming their season, the Yankees have given their fans that most precious of commodities, a postseason chase. Turn on your TV, tap on your iPad, or grab your phone to get the latest updates. Feel free to study the out-of-town scoreboard like it's your tax return. The updates are constant and needed. A beautiful baseball fix. Joey Gallo played 568 games for the Texas Rangers and never had one postseason at bat. After less than three weeks with the Yankees, a giddy Gallo said it felt like the playoffs. And he was right. Because the Yankees put themselves in such a precarious position, they've been in postseason mode for a while. In fact, manager Aaron Boone admitted they were in must-win situations back in July. And they have won a lot. Cashman revamped the roster by acquiring Gallo and Anthony Rizzo at the trade deadline, giving the Yankees two overdue lefty mashers and two elite defenders. Jamison Tyone, yes, the pitcher who looked lost, has been one of the best pitchers in the league for two months. Garrett Cole and Tyone could be an intriguing 1-2 tandem in the playoffs. Who will follow them? Stay tuned. The Yankee depth has been incredible, with everyone from Luis Heel to Nestor Cortez, to Andrew Velasquez, to Tyler Wade contributing to wins. Lots of close wins. So what does this mean? It means there's an abundance of reason to follow the Yankees with the same intensity with which Cole unleashes a 100 mile per hour fastball. A postseason chase is a fan's dream. It's priceless entertainment and you don't want to miss it.